from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Knowledge 16, brought to you by ServiceNow. Here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back to Knowledge 16, everybody. This is theCUBE. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. Carly Bush is here. She's the Director of Business Operations and Strategy, and she's joined by Wendy Jones, who's the VP of IT. They're with a company out of Denver called Envision. Ladies, welcome to theCUBE. It's great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. So, Carly, let me start with you. Tell us about <coughs> Envision, what the company's all about. You're on the <coughs> HR side. Of course, Wendy, you're on the IT side. Give us the story. Absolutely. Um, we're a very large health care organization, very diverse. Um, we most recently have branched off in some new um, divisions of our company. We have ambulance services, we have home health care, and then we also have um, hospital services. So those three um, business units make up our company, Envision. And those are relatively new, you said? Or, or? Um, no, the home health care is our newest line in the last few years. We started primarily with emergency services, the ambulance and the hospital services, and then in the last probably three years went into the home health care business as well. So Wendy, what's going on in the business that's sort of driving you know, demand for IT and requests and you, as like any IT exec, you get pulled in a million different directions. What's, what are the business drivers that are causing you um, the most interesting times, I'll put it that way. <laughs> well, being able to manage multiple requests from multiple, I mean, we're very large with over 45,000 employees who are remote. So we need the ability to be able to handle those requests coming in, um, not just in the HR department or the IT department, but legal, marketing. Everybody has a request and a case need. And so that's why ServiceNow is, is such a driver in our industry for that. Yeah, I mean, healthcare is such a, it's, a, it's an industry that we can all you know, relate to. Now you guys brought Service now in to the HR side of the house first, right? Which is yes. rare, isn't it? Usually the other way we around. Did. Yeah, it's exciting because we talk to people, and most most companies here implement IT first, and they have a good experience, and then they look at other um, parts of the business. But we went with the HR first when we decided to become a, a shared service center in our corporate office, and we needed a great case management and knowledge management system, and so we implemented about three years ago went very well, and now our IT is now branched out and they're doing their implementation as well. What, what, what was the, go back, you guys have both been with the company for a little bit, a decade or so. <laughs> what was the relationship like between HR and IT? Was it always cordial? Was it always kind of, <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll, we'll live with it. What, how would you describe it? Maybe from, we'll start with the IT side. I was going to say, I would start with the HR okay, side. Okay, well there's two sides to every <laughs> story. Because we're okay. here to support the business. So okay, so what about, their the, side. you know, how are they doing? Be be honest, right? Um, fine. It was fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. It's very much common better answer, now. right? Um, just you know, it, it's difficult because IT is tasked with helping everyone, and in most cases, they didn't have enough, you know, manpower to do that. And at times, HR would not be at the top of the priority list, and we needed things done, and it was can't get to you yet, we have other things going on. And so now with ServiceNow and the automation that we have, we have a lot of an employee self-service, a lot of automation that we don't need to go to IT now because we have it built in our, our platform with the product. And from your standpoint, Wendy, you were doing your best, right? Right. You had, you demand management, everybody's tugging at you. Has it changed since you brought in ServiceNow? It has because it's much more um, business driven. The business decides on and our customers, the IT customers, the business, decides on what they want and what they need. And with ServiceNow, they have the ability to be able to configure things within their admins of the system. So they don't have to wait for us to put them in a queue and be able to develop new things for them. Now in some cases there is, if it's, if it's more complex, but um, it allows us to be much more strategic with them to try to help them plan on on more advanced things instead of just heads down configuration. Mm -hmm. Carly, from an HR standpoint, what's going on in the business as far as, I mean, in our business, there's like a war on talent. You know, it's like bidding wars and even worse sometimes. Is similar in your industry? Absolutely. Um, in our business, we have to be on top of that, especially on the ambulance side. I mean, we have to be staffed appropriately and quickly because if we're not, we're saving lives every day. Right, so for our department, it's very important that we're onboarding quickly, getting them through the process, and getting them on that 
ambulance so they can go out there and do their job. Mm -hmm. In the past, that process was a little bit longer because there was paper forms and a lot of um, HR people doing transactional type duties to get someone ready and able to, to hit the ground running. And now it's great because it's automated. A person can simply um, accept their job application from their smartphone. They can do their, their required forms from their phone and they can be ready to go very quickly. And as you've pushed some of this stuff to self-service and kind of off your guys' plate, you know, like we talked about keeping the lights on, what are some of the things that your core staff now is able to do that they just didn't have the time before? How has their lives changed in their everyday job? That's really one of the things that's most exciting to us is the automation. And it, it's simple things such as um, W-4s, direct deposit entry, I-9 administration. Before, you needed an HR person behind a desk to fill out all those forms and do the entry into the HRAS system. Well, now with all the integration that we have in the self-service, employees can simply do many of those things on their own and it's integrated right into our HRAS system. So the biggest thing is there's not as much transactional or data entry, if you will, from an HR person and simplification for the employee. How does the uh, integration work? I mean, where's where does ServiceNow leave off and your core HR system pick up? And, and how integrated are those two? There's a lot of integration. So basically we have three systems, our applicant tracking system, our HRIS, and ServiceNow. And they all three are integrated in various ways so that the application, when it comes to us, generates an offer letter. When we're finished with that task, it generates the HRIS entry. So it is very, it's very complex, but it integrates very well. And, and what's your core HR system? Can you Oracle. Say? Uh, is, oh, it's yes. Oracle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is that Taleo, or is it no, Oracle the, the, Core? No, Taleo is an yeah. ATS. Um, yeah, okay. So we use Success Factors for our ATS, our applicant tracking system. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So Success Factors integrates with the systems as well. Okay. So, what uh, Success Factors is what more talent management? Or yeah, absolutely. It's a recruiting so, system. Yeah, the recruiter will. Um, do their requisition in that system and move them into an offer status, and then it'll kick off over to the, the other side so that we can move forward with our tasks to get them hired and through their pre-employment testing, things like that. Okay, and then so when you bring in ServiceNow, how, like, when the user, does the user see ServiceNow or do they see Oracle or what, what so do they see both? They see more of a customized um, view. We have a, an employee portal, so they go into this employee portal with the background being ServiceNow and that's the view that they see. Um, and to add to kind of what Carly said, not only have we enhanced her teams on, and the ability for them to do more, but I think the bigger key here is the employee satisfaction. Um, as an employee and not as an IT person, it went from, if I needed to change my direct deposit, it went from me handing a form to HR and it taking weeks because it's, it's data entry, to it taking probably no more than an hour before I saw that change back to me in, in the self-service system. And I would imagine the accuracy goes up accordingly, right? Because you just have one, right. one yes. less opportunity to mess it up. That was one of the up. reasons that we did that. And yes. also to bring consistency. So many practices out in the field, if you will, were handled differently all across the, the country. And a lot of those consistencies we've been able to, to realize with this product. Do you quantify the sort of benefits? Or does it, I mean, we talked to a lot of customers say, oh, it's just changed my life. I don't need to quantify mm -hmm. the benefits, but sometimes, you know, CFO might say, well, we're spending all this money, what are we getting? <laughs> do you do that? Do you do a look back? Or? Uh, we do. You know, it's difficult at times because a lot of the, you know, there's so many variables. One of the biggest um, things that I think has made an impact on our company is taking all of this transactional duties away from the field personnel so that the field HR people can actually you know, partner with their operation now. They can focus on bigger HR initiatives such as, you know, staffing planning, things like that. Not having the HR professional 50% of the time doing data entry. Hard to quantify that, you know, sometimes, but it's, it's, the impact has been huge for our HR staff. And how about on the IT side? I mean, we all, we all know the stats, 80% of our time is spent keeping the lights on and we don't have time for, <laughs> you know, growth and, and other strategic initiatives. Have you been able to move that needle at all, Wendy? We haven't yet, but we did just implement on the IT side in March. So right now, we're still, we implemented incidents and um, requests. And so we're still going through that change period where it's a little bit slower. The, we haven't recognized a, a true efficiency yet. Um, I think it'll come down the road. What's your expectation in terms of a payback? Is it six months, a year, two years? 
I would say six months to a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six months to a year is pretty good, right? Yep. I mean, the financial people would be happy with yeah. right. something like that. And it was a full year on the HR side, to be honest, before we realized all of our efficiencies. Because that first year, you're working through bugs, you're working on communication, changing processes for people, and it takes a while. It's not immediate. It's, it begs an interesting question. We talk often on theCUBE about people, process, and tech. Um, and a lot of focus on the tech, but as we all know, it's a whole lot of people in process to implement. So I wonder if you can talk to kind of getting everybody on board with these new processes. Was it hard, was it easy, was it like, oh, what took so long? You um, know, how, did, how was it accepted in the field? It, it, good, but it did take some time. So it, I, I just actually got finished talking to a potential customer and that was one of their questions. And I told them the biggest thing for us is we had a full blown communications campaign ready to go before we went live. It was very important to us that we involved our HR people, our employees, they knew what was going to happen. Everything from you know employee mailers to their home address announcing this big change that's coming to you know meetings and WebExes and training sessions and um, printed materials for them. So that was huge because if, if we hadn't done it that way, I think a lot of people would just have the kind of deer in the headlights situation going on. And again, the scale you said is 45,000 people? Yeah, that's where we're at now. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this new way to work theme that we've heard in the conference as, as customers? Does it, does it resonate? Um, is it just good marketing? Is it real? I think it's real. I mean, anytime you can realize efficiencies in that way and partner together, it, it's just, it makes a huge difference for any company. And what about, what else are you planning? with service What's now. Um, you started HR, moved to IT. Is there more in, in the future? Well, within IT, we, we implemented incident and um, request. We're currently getting ready to implement change in June. And then we are also looking at asset management, project management. Um, our legal department is also looking at the, the legal module for their um, case management and contract management. Um, and marketing is taking a look at it, at it also from a standpoint of managing the marketing requests, the communication requests that come in. And, and are these, um, well, I mean, obviously there are systems in place to do all that stuff today, but probably a lot of spreadsheets and, and normal oh. things, but also some systems, you mentioned project management. Do you retire systems? Or do you plan on retiring systems? Or We do plan on retiring systems. Um, for example, our request system was a in-house developed system. It's been retired. Um, I think everybody did a party when that one was retired. <laughs> um, we will also be retiring our current incident system. Um, our legal contracts database is a, is, a, is a developed system. I mean, you mentioned IT and, and the you know, business not exactly loving IT. The contract system for our legal department is, is an example of that, whereas they're excited to see ServiceNow because it, it'll be more in their court where they can make changes. Did you get so. rid of stuff on the HR side when you brought um, in? No, ours stuff? was more integration with, mm -hmm. with other systems. So it was sort of more incremental. Mm -hmm. We got rid of paperwork. That's what we got yes. rid of. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and employees must have loved that. And, and manual yeah. stuff, yeah. All right, uh, last word from each of you. Now, you've been to ServiceNow Knowledge before, or is this your first one? This is or? my first time. You too? I've what been once you? before. Oh, okay, great. Uh, once as a prospect, so. now, as, now as a customer. So, yes. what's the worry? So, what's, what are your impressions of, of the event? And Carly, let's start with you. Uh, overwhelming. Um, Over so yeah, much info. Yeah. So much info, uh -huh. so many people. It's just great to be part of it. And anytime I can um, you know, talk about ServiceNow, I love to because we're a happy customer. Did you guys bake a cake? We, you know, we ServiceNow brought a cake. Yes. When oh, they, we had our, our go live, they came in with a great big cake, so. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides, they had, yeah, when we went live too, we got a cake, so. Um, I think the conference is great. I think that there's, you know, you want to attend all these different sessions and not enough time to attend all these sessions, so. Um, it'd kind of be nice if, if that's online, and I think they do put some of it online so that you can go back to it later because there's so many interesting sessions that I'm like, oh, I'd like to go to that one, but I'm already in this one. Right. So. Another happy there service now customer, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although the, the, the HR story is, is new, but the, the happy customer thing is, it's not, it never gets old, but uh, thank yes. you guys for coming on theCUBE. Thank, thank really you. Great to meet you. All right, keep right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE. We're live from the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. Right back. It's always fun to come back.